Newsstands in Myanmar have reported a rush by readers eager to witness the latest sweeping changes in the country. Privately owned newspapers hit the streets today for the first time in nearly 50 years. A highly anticipated draft print media law will also be submitted for approval at the next parliament sitting in about two months. Channel News Asia's Mei Wong with more. The Myanmar government has exercised strict control over the media industry in the last several decades. So in a move to allow more press freedom, the information ministry submitted a draft print media law. But many in the industry cried foul. The criticism is that to some of the uh, content producers, it is actually, it seems more draconian than the 1962 Printers Act uh, that was in effect before. But to some of the, um, the uh, people in the industry, it also seems more lenient. Um, so there, there's also an argument be among the industry members um, to which is you know, uh, the better one. There's a lack of clarity and lack of vision. Uh, and it, you know, they came out with this draft that I think the industry wasn't prepared for. So it's back to the drawing board where industry players insist on being consulted extensively on what the potential media law should comprise. It has to uh, include um, freedom of um, you know, information, protection for journalists to do, you know, to do their job. So, and I think only then uh, will we be able to see a really developed and open media industry that is free to do its job so that we can protect our citizens, we can make sure that our government is accountable, that there's transparency. Um, so I think uh, whichever version comes out uh, before the parliament, uh, the lawmakers should make sure that it is the right media law for this country because it's very important for us. Practitioners point out it's important to note that the media landscape is already changing in Myanmar. One key example, publications no longer have to submit their news articles or advertisements to the government for vetting. We can write whatever we want and we can publish whatever we want. In the past, it will be outright banning of your paper, maybe for the indefinite period. But now, it's not like that. The institutions are now in place and the people don't want to go back, including the key people in the, the government. Now they said that that's the, the media, free media is the part and parcel of the democratic society. And the, they think that the media is helping the society. It will be a very vibrant media landscape. So for good or bad, at least will be a vibrant and the cutthroat media competition will be there. As Myanmar relaxes its rules governing the media, many industry players believe that more such as doctors, IT professionals as well as engineers would want to come forward to become journalists. In the past, many were afraid of voicing their opinion in the media, but now they believe that they can actually contribute to the policies governing this country. However, the media industry is still in its infancy and the standard of journalism still requires much improvement. May Wong Channel News Asia, Yangon, Myanmar.